Henko Julfoot. I'm Julfoot. Now, if, like me and Henko, you're a web designer, then you may know it's difficult to create forms that are high quality with little effort without using a third party company. Um, one script that allows you to do this is App Nitro's Mac form, I think you pronounce it. So, when you've installed it, which is very easy, and you've logged in for the first time, you should be faced with a screen like this. So, it's very easy to create a new form, all you do is click create new form, incidentally. Now, as you can see, we're faced with this screen. The first thing that you should really do is change the form title, so I'm just going to do example, and the description, example form. And you can do password protection, which means that only people who know the password can access it. You can turn on a capture spam protection so that robots can't automatically submit the form. I'm going to activate that. You can limit one entry per user that uses IP addresses, although if your IP address changes or you switch to a different broadband provider, then it may not work. But anyway, you can also allow it to show a review page before submitting, so you can just check over all the different uh, fields that you've filled in. I'm going to deselect that because I don't feel there's any need for it. Now, once someone has completed your form, it will show either a success message, um, which you can change here, so I'm just going to type success, or you can allow it to redirect the person to a URL, but I'm going to do show text. Now, on to adding fields. You've got all the normal field types here, so text boxes, text areas, let me just delete those because I didn't mean to add them, multiple choice fields, so radio buttons, name fields, time, address, price, section break, number, checkboxes, drop down date, phone, website, email and file upload. All pretty standard things. So I'm just going to demonstrate how easy it is to use Mac form. So for instance, I'm going to add a text box and write text box. And I'm going to make it required so you have to enter something into it. And you can add guidelines for the user so when they select the field in the form it shows a description of what to do. So I'm going to say fill this in and then you click add another field I'll add a checkbox thing I'll name it checkboxes and I'll change the choices to one two three actually I don't want the third one so I'll delete it no I think I do want the third one so I'll add one sorry just demonstrating how you can add and delete them make that required change the guidelines to select all that apply and I've decided I want the checkboxes above the text box so I'm going to move that above that by simply dragging and dropping and I'm also going to add a website field I'm not going to make this required but I am going to make it no duplicates which means that you can only one person can enter one website. So, for instance, if I entered www.henkajulfo.com, no one else could enter that and successfully submit the form. I'm not going to add any guidelines for that. So now I click Save Form, and it takes me to the Form Manager page. Here I can see the form, and I'm going to click View Form, and you can see this lovely form that it's made. So if I, for instance, select 1 and 3, you can see that the description box has popped up here, select all that apply. I'm going to add something into the text box, so hello, and I'm going to add into the website, 
www.pajulfo.com and the capture y w a y s i don't know if that's case sensitive so i'm doing it in the correct case anyway and you can see success wonderful so now what you do as the admin is you go to your form and click entries and you can see that someone me has entered this so i'm just going to delete that because i decided i didn't want that person to have entered anything and you can also make it email you um, when someone submits the form so I'm just going to enter my email address click manage forms view form enter some random stuff submit Oh dear. And now it should email me to tell me that someone entered something in my form. Yep, there you go. Example, and you can see the thing that the person entered. Lovely. So that's Mac form. I think it's really useful. It works that's a nice thing it doesn't seem to be too resource intensive but I'm not entirely sure it does cost some money 29 pounds um, in the UK but I think it's worth it for such a great script it is very user-friendly I like the fact that the form creator is so easy to use and you can get it by going to www.appnitro.com so that's www.appnitro.com and clicking on purchase now and you can see the different license types mine is a standard license type and that is that really Post your comments on this video and thank you for watching. I'm Julfo. See you later.